I'm in Singleton Park in Swansea, a typical traditional park where there's loads of grey squirrels, the type we're all familiar with seeing. They were introduced to this country over 100 years ago from America. The problem? Well, thanks to them, the red squirrel population has declined massively. There are only three groups of red squirrels now left in Wales, and they're the ones I want to see. Situated in the Cambrian Mountains, the Towie Forest is home to a very special red squirrel population. There are less than 1,000 reds left in Wales. Just five years ago, this particular group was on the verge of extinction. Their continued survival is in the main owed to the hard work of forestry manager and conservationist Hugh Denman. So Hugh, what's so special about the red squirrels here? Well, the red squirrels in, in mid Wales, they are genetically unique. Uh, they're not related to the continental red squirrels. Okay. And our red squirrels are related to ones in Anglesey, ones in North East Wales, and other ones in Mid Wales as well. Okay, so they're pure native Welsh squirrels, born in Wales to stay in Wales. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And we're here to protect them. Okay, Hugh, so why are we here today? Well, we're in this little bit of broadleaf woodland, which is adjacent to the conifer woodland. The conifer woodland is the main red squirrel habitat. Okay. But we have a population of grey squirrels here which periodically uh, invade the red squirrel habitat. So I've set some traps here, and uh, hopefully we've caught some of the grey squirrels are present so that we can reduce the population so they're not threatening the reds anymore. Well, let's go and have a look, shall we? OK. Lead the way, Hugh. Well, you know, Hugh, I've never yeah. seen a red squirrel in the wild. I'm a bit of a city boy, me, concrete jungle, urban landscape, you know? Do you think we've got anything? Yeah, the door sprung, actually. There's something in there. We'll have to be quiet because there might be a red squirrel. OK. There's certainly something in there. Well, let's have a look, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to have a look in there now, see what it is. Uh, I think it's a grey squirrel. Yeah, it's an adult grey squirrel. OK. So, OK. Well, what happens next, Hugh? Well, it's illegal to release these back into the wild. Yeah and it's threatening the red squirrel population because it's competing for resources and also it, the likelihood is that it's a carrier of squirrel pox virus right. or, uh, which they're, uh, they're only carriers but the red squirrels uh, die of it so what are you going to do to them? well it'll ha have to be humanely killed in a prescribed way okay Hugh, well, I'll let you get on with that I'll see you later on okay? see you later yeah. I've been dreading the possibility that we might trap a grey and then have to kill it but if we're to protect the few remaining red populations in Wales, conservationists can't risk allowing a single trap grey back into the wild.